Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to One Sober to Another. I'm Wayne, and I'm an alcoholic. First, I just want to thank all the new subscribers to One Sober to Another. You guys are awesome, and you're making this channel that much better. Let me know what you want to see or what you want to talk about, or even if you want to be a guest on One Sober to Another, and I'll make that happen. Because we make this channel better, and we make each other better, and we keep each other sober and honest through sharing our experiences, strength, and hope. Today's daily reflection for December 28, 2000, 2020, suit up and show up. Let's go. All right, let's get this. Suit up and show up. In AA, we aim not only for sobriety, we try again to become citizens of the world we rejected and of the world that once rejected us. This is the ultimate demonstration towards which the 12 step work is the first but not final step. As Bill sees it, page 21. The old line says, suit up and show up. That action is so important that I like to think of it as my motto. I can choose each day to suit up and show up or not. Showing up at meetings starts me toward feeling a part of that meeting, for then I can do what I say I'll do at meetings. I can talk with newcomers and I can share my experience. That's what credibility, honesty, and courtesy really are. Suiting up and showing up are the concrete actions I take in my ongoing return to normal living. Whoa, suiting up and showing up, folks. That's what I do here every single day for you. I don't put on a suit. I don't talk all fancy. Matter of fact, most times I talk all kind of weird dialect like, and you might not understand me. That's all right, because half the time I don't understand myself. The important part here, folks, is when an alcoholic or an addict is in recovery, we spend so much time making false promises and saying we'll be places and not showing up and delivering bull crap excuses of why we couldn't do something. As an alcoholic in recovery and living in sobriety, it is my obligation to be where I'm supposed to be and to be where I say I'm going to be when I say I'm going to be there. For instance, if I say that I'm going to show up to work, guess what, folks? Unless I'm sick, dying, hurt, or injured, I'm going to be there. And most times, if I'm sick or hurt, I'm going anyway. I don't know why. This is how I'm built. Maybe it's 20 years in the Army. I'm not certain, but that's what I do. And I also keep my promises when I say I'm going to do something. If I promise my son that him and I are going to go up on a hill and go mudding around in my little Dacia Sandero, that's exactly what we're going to do. I don't care if I feel like doing it or not, because in the past, when I promised that I was going to show up, guess what, folks? I didn't even fly from New Jersey to here in order to be home for Christmas. And that is some Rudy Poo poopy doo. And that's when I was drinking, folks. I had every intention of getting home and I had every intention of being where I was said I was going to be, but I didn't. My drunken ass was home, playing video games, and I should have been here instead. That's what I do in my sobriety is if I say I'm going to help you, that's exactly what I'm going to do. If I say I'm going to reshoot this video because all my audio just quit out and now I got to do it on my cell phone, that's what I'm going to do. And that's the reason why I think suiting up and showing up is so important because we spent so much time not being present and not doing what we said we were going to do. Most people don't believe we're going to do it anyway. So what better way to show that you have changed and to show your living amends than by being there? Because 90% of life, folks, is just showing up. The other 10% falls into place as well as opportunity opens. So if you just suit up and show up, folks, like I suit up and show up, you have opportunity and you have joy that is waiting for you and you can find peace by knowing that you did, you did exactly what you said you were going to do. 
that's food for food for thought. That's food for thought. Food for thought, folks. Life's a garden. Dig it. I'm going to see you in the next one. Have an awesome night. Bye-bye.